Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of computer organization and architecture. Today's topic is about the virtual memory. This is the second part of the video about virtual memory. In this video, I will be telling you about the address mapping using pages and associative memory page table. Let us begin. What is virtual memory? This is the concept which is commonly used for the large computer systems and which permits the users or the programmers to construct large programs, huge programs with the availability of large memory space. Actually, what happens? Virtual memory, it gives a kind of illusion to the programmers so that programmer think that they have a very large, very high memory, but actually in in actual, there is a small main memory. So this particular concept is nowadays commonly used, right? Now, let us discuss in between uh, what is address space, what is memory space. So address space, this is denoted by capital N. Memory space is denoted by capital M. Programmer user address that particular address is what? The virtual address and the set of virtual address is a address space. Memory at space, in this particular memory, there are multiple physical address. So address in main memory, that is what a physical address and the set of physical address and or you can say that the sets of such locations that is known as a memory space. So address space that is the set of addresses generated by the programs and memory space contains actual memory address, actual main memory address. So in most of the computers, this address space, this is equal to memory space. But the computers with virtual memory, this address space is larger than the memory space. You must remember this particular condition. Coming to the next, now let us talk about the address mapping using pages, which is what I have to talk in this particular video. So what happened when we are talking about the mapping or translation from address to address space to the memory space? It means there is a requirement of table implementation. So table implementation of address mapping that is simplified if address space and memory space, these two are divided into group of fixed size. As if this is being divided into 1k space, this is also being divided into 1k space, fixed space. So here you can see physical memory that is being, physical memory or the main memory you can say, that is being broken down into a groups of small size that is known as a what? Blocks. And the value or the number of blocks that may range from 64 to 4096 words. So here you can see page in the address space, block in the memory space. So page refers the organization of address space and block refers to the organization of memory space. Right. So you must remember pages with respect to the virtual memory. So as I've told you that these two means uh, address space and memory space, this must be split into the equal size groups. So programs which we are going to consider that is split into the pages as you can see in this particular examples and portion of the program that is to be moved from auxiliary memory to main memory. So here sometimes you, uh, you are going to listen a term page. So page is what the term which is being used in reference to the portion of program that is being used that is being transferred from the auxiliary memory to main memory and one term is what page frame. So page frame is also related to the block means page frame is known as a block. Block is denoted as a page frame also. So in this particular example, this is an example, here address space is of 8k, memory space is of 4k and both are divided into a group of 1k words. So it means we will obtain 8 pages, you can see page number 0 to page number 7 means page number 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 8 pages and 
blocks of 4 means 4k is being divided into 1k of size only. So there are 4 blocks. So what happened at any given instant of time, 4 pages, here total are 8 pages but out of this 8 only 4 pages may reside into the main memory, right? And remaining 4 pages will be in the available in the this virtual memory only. It means only 4 pages can be stored in these 4 blocks because there are 4 blocks only. Means the mapping from address space to the memory space that is facilitated with the help of the virtual address. Virtual address that consists of 2 fields. One is the page number and second is the line within that particular page. In this particular example, you can see address space is what 8k, k is what 1024. It means 2 raised to the power 13. That means 13 bits virtual address. Out of this 13 bits virtual address, you can see there are 8 pages, right, in total. So, out of 8, one page can be identified or you can say to denote something for in view of these 8 pages, 3 bits are required. 2 raised to the power 3 is what? 8. It means 3 bits are required to denote the page numbers and out of that anyone can be selected. Means higher order 3 bits uh, of a virtual address that will specify one of the page. Means 3 bits for this page numbers and remaining 10 bits for the lines within the page number and virtual address that is of total 13 bits, right? So you must remember that means line address in his address space and memory space that is same, then only mapping is required from page number to the block number, right? You must remember this particular example means 13 bits to 12 bits mapping is to be done from address space to the memory space. Here you can see this is a memory table in a page system. So this memory page table, this consists of 8 blocks, this block number, right? 8 blocks, block number 0, this is block number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So memory, this page table, it cons consists of 8 blocks. You right and the address in the page table this address that denotes the page number and the content of the word that will gives the block number where the page is going to be stored in the main memory so from this particular table you can see this is a memory page table this is page number next is the block number and then you can see here is a presence bit presence bit means it indicates whether the page has been transferred from auxiliary memory into main memory or not. If one is available, it means this particular page is transferred into the main memory. This page is available in the main memory. This page is available in the main memory. This is also available. Zero means these particular pages are not available in the main memory. How it is going to be mapped? See this number. Block number is what? 1, 1. See block number 0. This is what? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and this is 1, 1. So if you observe this block number 1, 1, it means this particular page number is mapped into which block? This is mapped with block number 3. Similarly, this one, this is mapped, this page number 2, this is mapped with block number, this is mapped with block number 0. So this is how you can understand how it is going to be like mapped and you must remember you must remember this is the memory table buffer register how the data is to be read let me give you in detail tell you in detail you can observe the virtual addresses of 13 bits 13 bits this is the virtual address and higher order 3 bits that denotes the page number and line number this is of 10 bits this is of 3 bits you can see these three bits are used to denote the page number. So CPU references a word in memory with virtual address that is of 13 bits, right? And the content of word in memory page table at the page number address, you must remember 
at the page number address that is to be read out from memory table buffer register this is the memory table buffer register if the presence bit is 1 right means the block number this is what the block number 0 1 so if the presence bit is 1 then this particular block number is transferred into the higher order main memory address register you can see this block number is transferred over here right and the line number is directly being taken from the virtual address this is the 10 bits line number directly so 2 bit plus 10 bits this is of 12 bits in total that is what the translation or mapping of from address space to the memory space address space was of 13 bits this is of 12 bits right so this is how you must remember means the line number directly is being transferred right so what happened in case there is a read signal to the main memory then read signal means data is to be read from the main memory and that is to be provided to the cpu so a read signal to main memory that transfer the content of word to the main memory buffer register during read it will transfer the content whatever the content like in this case 0 1 0 1 means block number 1 this particular content is transferred to the memory buffer register that is to be used by the CPU. So this is how you can explain the memory table in the pages system. Next let us discuss associative memory page table. But before talking to this step, this uh, topic, let me tell you there were some limitation in the case of the memory table in page system, which we have discussed just right now, right? What happened over here? In this particular case, a random access memory page table that is insufficient. Insufficient means with respect to the storage. As you can see in this particular example, there are total eight pages and number of blocks in the main memory are four. So at a time on any four pages can be transferred into the main memory and remaining four pages are still available in the uh, auxiliary memory. It means we can say that it is not capable to accommodate more than four blocks, right? So let me explain you by giving one more example. Suppose in this example, if we say address space that is of 1024k words right and memory space that is of 32k words and the similar manner if each page or block contains one words it means there would be total 1024 pages and there would be total 32 blocks only right so out of 1024 pages only 32 blocks means 32 pages can be transferred into the main memory means remaining 1024 minus 32 that is what you are getting 992 so it means 992 locations will be empty will be available in the auxiliary memory or will be available over here and that would be of no use right so depending upon the requirement you can see how this is not going to be effectively used it means there must be a more efficient mechanism a more efficient way to organize the page table that can be done if number of words that is equal to the number of blocks in the main memory. If both the terms are same, then it is going to be fully utilized. It means in this particular manner, the memory is reduced and each location will be fully utilized. So this can be done with the help of this topic which we are discussing. Associative memory page table means we can replace this random access memory page table you can see over here this can be replaced with an associative memory associative memory of four words you can see over here associative memory of four words and each entry in the associative memory you can see that contains page number and the block number means in this particular example uh, three bits for the page number and the remaining two bits for the block number so what happened 
the virtual address in this particular example this virtual address was of 13 bits so this 13 bit virtual address is kept in the argument register page number that is of 3 bits line number that is of 10 bits so page number bits in the argument register so this particular page number bits that will be compared to all the pages of the associative memory right here the page number is 101 so page number is 101 which is not available in this associative memory right so means this page number is compared with the page numbers available in the associative memory if page number is found what happened if the page number is found in this particular associative memory then corresponding 5 bit data 3 plus 2 5 bit data means 5 bit word that is read out from the memory right if in case there is no match occur as in this particular case there is no match then a call to the operating system that is being generated so that the required page can be taken from the auxiliary memory. So this is how this associative memory page table you can understand. And why it is being used? You must be aware about the limitation or the drawback of the drawback of what? Which we have discussed in the case of the address mapping using pages. Thank you so much for watching this video.